What's for breakfast? Baked oats. Okay, Daniel, let's do this baked oats trend. Start off by combining oats, milk, half a banana, protein powder, vanilla extract, and syrup into a blender. I added cinnamon because I wanted to make this almost like a coffee cake. Place it in a tiny little cake tray, and then add chocolate chips if you're feeling it, which I always am, then bake it. Do you like my apron? It was my grandma's. I added a little streusel to the top for some texture and some sugar, baby. This was easy and tasted kind of like a yummy muffin. Highly recommend. Yum. I'm making homemade gnocchi. Gnocchi. The gnocchis are homemade. Okay, I sound like Borat, I think. So we're starting with some potatoes and I'm just gonna boil them in water skin on. I don't really know why, because we're gonna take the skin off later. And we're gonna let that sit for like 30 or 45 minutes. So that was a whole lot of work to Just wait around for a while. It is time to mash. Oh, that first mash feels so good though. Now it's time to actually make the dough that will become our gnocchi. So we're kind of making our gnocchi. So we're gonna start with one egg, generous serving of salt. We're gonna put like somewhere around one and a half to two cups of flour. I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my dough. We're just gonna roll it out into like a long stick, a little dough stick, like that. And here we are, gnocchi. Sundays are a day for donuts in my book. So I traveled to Irvine to Moto, Hawaii to try some mochi dochis. I mean, mochi donuts. Monuts? How should I say it? It was Valentine's Day, so everything was very red and pink with all that lovey-dovey crap. I do have to say though, as soon as I saw these donuts, I was in love. The butterflies in my tummy started to tingle and jingle. They only sold them in boxes of half dozen. I ain't gonna complain about that. More donuts for me. When I got back to my car and grabbed my first donut, it was still warm. And the first bite took my breath away. I knew from that moment that these donuts were going to be inside me as quickly as I could get them there. This is a real love story. This is one of my favorite quick and easy breakfasts. Get the frozen scallion pancakes from Trader Joe's, place it in a pan, flip it over, and put it on a plate. Now it's time to crack some eggs. Put it in a pan, fry it, don't break the yolk, and then place it on your scallion pancake. Get off the spatch, bro. Get off the spatch. Sriracha, yeah, place it over the air bubble. Uh Uh-oh, just make it look nice. Now some fure kake for a little seasoning. Then use that bottle to hold your phone so you can see that yolk pop. What's in the bag? Is that for me? What's in there? Oh my god, is it balls? Is it balls? Oh, it's balls! It's balls! Oh my, there's more than one! Oh my, which one? Blue? Uh, blue, blue! Maybe it's not blue, maybe it's, uh, orange! Oh, the orange looks good, it's, it's pretty tasty! Uh, oh no, but the blue is so sweet, it's so soft. The green though, uh, but like the green might be good. The blue, no, nope. oh gosh, I, it's so hard. <laughs> um, the blue, it's it's gotta be the blue. I can't, I can't focus anymore. It's uh, it's the blue, it's the blue. Um, well now I'm confused. They're doing things I didn't know they could do. Three of them, oh the blue. And today I'm gonna be making Crepes, crazy crepes. All right, so we're gonna start off this recipe nice and strong with a good healthy egg. Three quarter cups of healthy milk, half teaspoon of oil, and then I'm just gonna whisk this together. Why do I lift weights if I'm not gonna use them to stir things? It's like, it's just sense, it's just common sense. Add a half cup of all purpose flour, a pinch of salt, half tablespoon of sugar, touch of vanilla. Then I'm gonna whisk all this together to make the batter. Butter in the pan. This one turned out perfect. Hi. Well, hello. I'm just chopping strawberries. The word you're looking for is yum. Yum, these look yummy. These are what you prepare for your lover. And since I love myself, bon appetit. That's very yummy. On Valentine's Day, I took a trip to Laguna Beach to do the top of the world hike. 
Of course, I had to park about a half a mile downhill from the trailhead. I'm not mad. I just call this a bonus hike. Wee, that looks fun. The hike itself was very steep and was a lot more work than I anticipated. Had I known this, I may not have had that mimosa before I started. Oops. There was a point where I saw the ocean and I was like, wow, this was a great hike. Beautiful. And then I turned around and realized there was more. A lot more. Nevertheless, I made it to the top. Ooh, helicopter. The views of the ocean and of the Orange County landscape were beautiful. Now I just need to find a way back down. Uh, where's that helicopter? <laughs> okay. Today is the day that I am making homemade pasta. It's pasta time! I'm making homemade pasta! This is exciting, get excited! So you might be asking me, well Daniel, where's your, this guy? Well, I don't have one. This recipe only takes four ingredients, flour, eggs, olive oil, and salt. Everybody has it, everybody has it. So we're gonna start off with two cups of flour and we're just gonna pour them right here. Boom. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack three eggs right in there and voila! We're going to do a tablespoon of olive oil and a teaspoon of salt. Now we're gonna get our hands dirty. Let's go. I think I have messed up. You're supposed to knead it for like 10 minutes. This is our dough. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roll it out. And let me tell you, this is a lot of work. Then we're just gonna slice the noodles. Look at that. Look at that. There you have it. I've been going to Rubio's Coastal Grill since I was a child. That's a weird thing for a person to say, but regardless, I still to this day love their fish tacos. No matter where I am in Southern California, I can guarantee I will get a great fish taco from their spot. And honestly, have only found a few taco spots that I would say do a better Baja fish taco. I personally love to add a side of Chipotle white sauce to give the taco a little extra creamy kick. Rubio's, you have been there for me through the thick and thin. And believe me when I say, I will be there for you. It's about time I tried mochi nut. Although today I wasn't craving donuts. I wanted one of those potato mozzarella corn dogs dusted in sugar. And instead of chatting about it, I'm just gonna let the corn dog do all the work. I love ranch dressing, but I have a big problem with things like this. These are disgusting to me. I'm sorry, I'm not to throw you under the bus, Hidden Valley Ranch, but it, like, it's not good. You know, making this might actually scare me into never having ranch dressing again, because I'll be like, that's what's in it. It doesn't even take any cooking, just some of this action. Look at our creamy, milky substance. This adds a citrus element to it. <laughs> what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I'm making ranch dressing on YouTube, guys. I don't know. Fast food ranch. It's fine. Hidden Valley. So salty. Why is it so salty? My ranch. Oh my God. Winner is my ranch. Wow. I'm amazing. It just tastes more fresh. I don't know why, you know, because it is more fresh probably. That's probably why. I recently visited the Crimson Coward located in Artesia, California. It's one of the many Nashville hot chicken spots located all over SoCal. I ordered the Crimson Sandwich, medium spice level, because my tummy just can't handle anything more. I am white and I am sorry. This sandwich came with the longest piece of chicken I have ever seen in my life. I'm having trouble balancing it while filming. All in all though, it was tasty and the fries and crimson sauce were absolutely delicious. Yeah, I'm gonna be cooking something that I actually love to make. It is a feel good food. It's great for when you're sick. It's great for when it's chilly, like it kind of was today. It was a little bit windy. And so I'm gonna make this arroz caldo in the kitchen. There's the tears. They're starting. Okay, we're cool. Bow, 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 bow. Don't be scrimpy on your garlic. On your garlic, yeah. Don't leave. Half cooked chicken, 
Guaranteed to put you in the hospital. Hey, that's a giant slab of ginger. You're not gonna wanna probably eat that. Or maybe you do, I don't know. I can't, I'm not, I'm not you. I just know for me, I don't, that's probably not something I wanna do. All right, so I'm gonna give this a taste. It's so good. It's so comforting. That's it. So I got to check out a place in LA called Piquito Mike. I've dreamed long and hard about their poke burritos that are covered in hot Cheetos. Yeah, you heard me right. This is not a dream, this is a TikTok. So I started with some white rice and of course some of that hot Cheeto coating. Then added some sweet salmon and spicy tuna cause sweet and spice is always nice. Green onion, masago, jalapeno, eel sauce, spicy mayo, crispy onion, and more of them hot Cheetos. And watched as my dreams came true right before my own eyes. A beautiful sushi burrito with hot Cheetos. And the result? <laughs> Do I even have to tell you? I'm gonna be making a banana cream cheesecake. You know what? I'm gonna need to eat that. Whoa. Here we go. Smooth. Golden brown. Yum, bananas. If I didn't want to eat this so bad, I would throw it right in your face right now. Pie face. <laughs> Calm yourself, Daniel. Pray for me. Whoa. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's so good. Okay. This is stupid. This is stupid, it's so good. Sundays are for two things and two things only. Brunch and football. And when it's not football season, then guess what it's about? <laughs> brunch. Yeah, it's about, it's about brunch. Um, and, and, you know, it's like breakfast and lunch together. It's brunch. This weekend I went to the Quail Hill Trail in Irvine. Hold on, let me rest for a second. Okay, let's hike! The trail starts off nice and easy with a little incline. And since no one is around, I get to have a little mask-free fresh air time. Oh, now there's people. Before I even had time to sweat, I reached the top of this hike. Seriously, it takes about three minutes. Hey, a tree! I have to say, this hike has the single best view of the 405 freeway I have ever seen. Totally worth it. How is there snow right there, but it's a billion degrees right here? Sometimes it's nice to just look around and say, Hey, I climbed that. Well, not all the way, but like to about there. I'm glad I drove 25 miles for this. I wanna eat food. I wanna eat food in my mouth. So let's cook some breakfast, weirdo. Today I'm just making some garlic fried rice and eggs, starting out with olive oil and garlic, adding some leftover rice, trying to flip that rice like a pro, but too scared to actually do it because it might spill everywhere. One-handed egg crack, no big deal. Ladies form an orderly line, please. I like to add sriracha, sweet chili sauce, and some furikake. I always want a nice yolky egg because that's nature's sauce. And back to you, Daniel, for the taste test. All right, I gotta go. Cone Appetit in Artesia, California. It's a nice little ice cream and taiyaki shop with a wall mural that just spoke to me. I got Ube soft serve and whoa, I tripped. Just kidding, I would never do that to you guys. Like I was saying, I got ube soft serve with Oreo crumble and condensed milk in a taiyaki filled with custard. Ask me to say that again and I won't. Now how do I eat this and hold my phone? Um, like th this? Is this better? Yum. It is the holiday season again and it's time to get green. 
I own zero green things. Yep, we're doing Irish coffees. Shot of Jameson. Now I'm just gonna get the coffee and I'm filling up to about there. Then I'm going to take my Baileys and I'm gonna top it off. Mmm. Oh yeah, that really gets me in the spirit, you know? Today I am making a steak pie. On New Year's, it is a tradition in my family to have steak pie. I've got about two pounds of stew, st stewing steak? Steak for stewing? Stew steak. I'm not afraid to get a little dirty. <laughs> And like any good chef would do, I have beer to go in here, but I also have beer for me. I'm not stupid. To your health and to mine. Aren't you guys so proud I did my mise en place beforehand today? Oh my God, you guys, this smells so amazing. If this doesn't lead to a better 2021, I do not know what will. Doesn't this look unreal? Okay, please don't drop, please don't drop, please don't drop. It looks fabulous. It smells better than it looks. And if it tastes better than it smells, we're gonna be in business. All right, so we're gonna start with our savory tortilla wrap, whatever you wanna call it. I'm going to do a breakfast version first. So I've got a little bit of egg here. I've got some bacon, some mozzarella cheese. I've got avocado and I made a little sriracha aioli going to look, it's like Pac-Man. Which sounds super fancy, and it is. And always, you know, you could snack on bacon. If we make too much. Boom. Doesn't it look good? Ooh. Fold, fold, fold. Oh. Look at that, oh, it looks so good. Oh, dear God. Thank you. One of my favorite spots for a quick sweet treat in LA is from Milk Bar on Melrose. I got the cereal milk soft serve with cornflakes and birthday dough bites. They decided to put everything on the side so I never got that perfect picture, but I did get more toppings than I usually would. <laughs> so it's a win for me. Oh yeah, do your dance, big boy. All right, now it is time for round two, dessert edition. Burp, 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 watch out, ghost. Sometimes it's fun to just have a really healthy dessert. Low cal, low fat, low fun. <laughs> Ooh, this looks so cool. Right, right, am I right? But guys, seriously, am I right? All right, you know what to do now. We've gotta fold this and fold this and fold this and then heat it up in a pan and then we're gonna eat it up in our mouths. Oh yeah. Daniel, you've outdone yourself. Mmm, 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 mmm. That was dirty. 